Everybody good? Yeah. Well, good morning. I want to thank members of the media for joining us uh, here today. And I want to thank uh, Shan Thea Perrin, our PC candidate for Markham Unionville, and Fred Wasif, who is our PC candidate for Oak Ridge's Markham, for joining us this morning at Denison Park. We're here today because July the 1st not only marked the unofficial start to summer in Ontario, the celebration of Canada Day, but also marked the first anniversary of Dalton McGuinty's spectacular double play. Here's a replay. On Canada Day last year, the same day that Dalton McGuinty brought in his HST tax grab, he also secretly slapped on a second tax grab, a sneaky eco tax on 9,000 household items that families use each and every day. In effect, Dalton McGuinty hid one tax grab behind another. Families across Ontario don't need an umpire to call that one foul. They felt it when it hit their wallets. But sadly, the last eight years under Dalton McGuinty, there's just been too many new and unexpected tax increases and costs that have been sprung on the pocketbooks of Ontario families. It's making it harder and harder for Markham and York families to make ends meet. From the HST, the health tax, skyrocketing hydro bills, eco taxes, the list goes on and on. The taxman Dalton McGuinty has made life too unaffordable for average Ontario families. And what's worse, these eco taxes do nothing to improve the environment, they just add to the family burden. Last fall, we learned that only 2%, practically a rounding error, of electronics have been reused, while the Ecotax Agency, the Ontario Electronic Stewardship, had collected a staggering $33 million in Ecotaxes from Ontario families. This summer, we learned they're sitting on a $20 million surplus. Why is it in Dalton McGuinty's Ontario that the family budget is never in surplus? Families already pay high enough electricity prices as it is. They don't need to pay an extra tax on a light bulb, a laptop, or an Xbox for the kids. It's clear families need relief and they need change. And that's why as Premier, I will eliminate Dalton McGuinty's sneaky eco taxes once and for all. I will take them off everyday items like batteries and light bulbs and take them off electronics like iPods and video game consoles. And that is just one way that an Ontario PC government will give average Ontario families the relief they deserve. To put more money back into their pockets to spend on their priorities, not Dalton McGuinty's wasteful programs. So let me be clear, under a Tim Hudak PC government, the sneaky eco tax will be gone for good. Now Dalton McGuinty, he remains committed to keeping his eco taxes and families can be rightly worried that he'll put it on even more items if he's re-elected. He tried it once, he'll try it again. That is, unless we stop it. On October 6, Markham, York, GTA families will face a very clear choice. Do they want four more years of Dalton McGuinty with his tax hikes and wasteful spending or choose a PC government with Shan Thea Perrin and Farid Wasef to give families the relief they so desperately need and deserve. So thank you. Glad to take any questions that you may have or for my candidates. Thanks for helping out the campaign. No Enjoying it so far? I love it. Good.